Today, we've got a pretty fun idea. And that video idea is brought to us by Weasel? We Weasel? I, I don't know how to say your name, bro. However you say this guy's name, he has given me the video idea of ranking all of the best sites slash scopes in Phantom Forces. But I'm, I'm gonna do you one better, bro. In today's video, we're going to be ranking all of the iron sites specifically in Phantom Forces. And over the next several videos, we're going to be ranking all of the red dots, all of the scopes, and all of the special sites that exist in the entirety of everyone's favorite Roblox FPS game, Phantom Forces. If you'd like to follow along on this journey, get subscribed if you have not done so already with notifications on so you don't miss a single video. It's free after all. And hey, if you end up enjoying the video, consider leaving a like. It helps a ton. And of course, if you guys have any video ideas of your own and would like to be featured in a video, definitely leave those ideas in the comment section below. But all right, without further ado, let's get into my opinion rating the Iron Sights and Phantom Forces from worst to best. So uh, again, this is my opinion, so just bear with me here. We're going to be starting with what I assume to be or what I rather believe is the worst Iron Sight in all of Phantom Forces. No, not the Half Ring. Love that site. It is the Styre site. Now, if you don't know what the Styre site is, it is basically the default site for some of the AUG weapons, and you can barely see a single thing out of this site, dude. Especially once you start shooting, you just, it, it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Whenever you're walking, there's so many things bobbing in front of your screen, it makes it extremely difficult to line up the site. Hey, yo. Uh, <laughs> you okay, bro? <laughs> Someone get him down. I think that man's stuck up there. But yes, the Styre site, I believe, is the worst site in Phantom Forces. And honestly, uh, should not be used under any circumstances. That's just how it is. But we've got a lot of sites to go through, so we're going to go through these rather quickly. Trust me, I'm a big AK guy. I love AKs. But the Kalashnikov sites are just not the move in Phantom Forces. Now, I normally like some of the AK sites in Phantom Forces while a tad closed off. They still look pretty good. These, however, um... I, I would not use these. I don't like these. Now, the 1200mm sight is very interesting from a hip fire perspective because it has a little chunk of something and then a big ol' freaking circle right in the front. Now, the 1200mm sight is, I believe, the default sight for the HK21. And this is one that is also, similarly to the Kalashnikov sight, is just very difficult to see out of. Especially when you're walking, the sight's bobbing all over the place. It makes it pretty difficult to see out of. And while definitely not the worst, it's definitely not something I would choose to use if I had any choice. Now, this one's gonna make a lot of people mad, but the carry handle sight, I just don't like it. I always think that carry handle sights are pretty ugly. It's not that they're useless or anything like that. You could see out of them very well. They're very polished sights as well. I just, I don't like this style of sight. I just don't like how much space on the weapon that carry handle takes up. I mean, carry handles are practical. They're functional. It's not meant to be aesthetically pleasing. So hey, if you like it, you'll like it. But for me, not my style. Similarly to the carry handle sight, the super slim sights are just kind of mid. Now, pretty much what these super slim sights are, they are the carry handle sights just without the uh, whole carry handle bit. Now, these super slim sights aren't necessarily bad, but since it is essentially the carry handle without the carry handle, it just kind of ends up being default a sight that I'm not going to end up liking too much. But again, they are functional. If you like them, you like them. The quick release sight is, uh, <laughs> how do I say, uh, not very epic. Now, again, functional, yes, they don't take up a crazy amount of your screen, but the perspective that you actually have when looking down it is very, very minimal. Especially if I'm, like, trying to look from side to side, you can see it very, very quickly gets obstructed, and it just makes it a little bit more difficult to see. But it'll function, again, if you like it, you like it. Now, one that is actually not on the AK-416 that I was going to make my baseline here are going to be the Bundesveer sights, in the sense that it is just a front post with a really high back post, but they're a little bit more difficult to see out of. However, they do always feel like a just kind of fun, goofy sight to mess around with. I think my real only only complaint about them was is that they they're like a kind of gray that blends in with everything in the background so it makes it a little bit difficult to see if you're like trying to clear a building but otherwise they're just a fun little site to use and i enjoy them very much however the fact that this is not on the hk416 leads me to believe that there might be other iron sites that i'm missing so if there are any on this list that i miss uh do, please let me know the caltech site is uh basically the super slim sites just with a very chunky chunky aperture there's just something about this site that i just absolutely adore and i think it's just the goofy factor of it i really couldn't tell you what these are on by default because they are iron sites so i'd imagine that they're on something but i just can't quite imagine in my head what these would actually be on but i'll tell you what it's definitely not going to be on, and it is a majority of my weapons. Now, the Herzl site, however you pronounce this, is okay. So, these are essentially going to be the SCAR iron sights, like the SCAR L iron sights, just without the little white ring around it that the SCAR L sights typically have. Now, while these are very similar in terms of look to the flip up sights, I feel like I'm able to just see out of them a little bit better just because they're kind of slimmer and a little bit more polished. Now again, while something I would not necessarily choose to use, I actually wouldn't mind using these. I could use them very comfortably if I was required to. The Buist site is one that I feel looks fairly unique 
reticle actually on your weapon. And while not having a particularly unique reticle or anything like that for it, it is functional. I don't mind it. And it's just, yeah, it, it's okay. Call me weird, but I kind of like the diopter sights. Now, pretty much what this is, is the MP5K iron sights. And of course you can see at a hip fire, like sitting, standing stance, you can see that front circle is so funny or the front post is so funny looking. It's so freaking huge. A lot of you guys may know, especially if you watch my streams, I absolutely love using the MP5K and I love using it with these stock iron sights. And that is what we're getting, but we can put this on basically everything in the game. So it's great. Now this, the dual aperture, I had a weird time with this sight here because I actually really like this sight, but it's really, really goofy looking. You can see it's got like everything is squared off about it. It's got like that squared like shield around it, protecting it. It just looks really weird, but I can't help but just love how weird it is. Now, unfortunately for us, the dual aperture sight sounds like you could press T to like toggle for like a farther end zoom, but you actually can't. So I don't really know why it's called dual aperture. The H and K export sight is essentially the G36 iron sights, and it looks really funny having it on so many different weapons. It is a really tiny low profile sight that again is purely functional. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. I can see why people might not like it. It is a little bit like plain and basic, but I do find myself liking it though. One that you may find kind of weird that I actually like a lot is the Ism mash site. Now I, it's ugly. It's a little difficult to see out of, but I just, I don't know what it is. Something about this. I just find myself just loving having this equipped, but otherwise, yeah, it's just, it's, 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 it's okay. I don't, I, I really, I don't really know why I like this so much. The M bus sites, these, 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 these are like the TRG 42 iron sites, I believe. And these a little bit intrusive on your screen, but they are some of the highest detailed iron sites in Phantom Forces. And they just feel so clean to use. I can't really tell what it is about them. Just absolutely love using them. They just, they, they're a lot of fun. The KAC site is the default MK11 site. And while looking super blocky and crude, it feels like it has a very nice open profile to it. I mean, just look at them. The, the front post is extremely thin and flimsy. It looks like at least they just feel so natural to use. I don't, I really, really could not tell you just why I like it so much. I just love how open and everything it is. The AAC flip up sites are very similar in terms of having like really open profile and really thin front post and everything. These are the honey badger iron sites and they just overall look fantastic and feel fantastic to use. The EWI site, the IWI site, however you want to say it. If you want an open site, if you want an open site, you use the IWI sites. This is just like, you can see everything out of the, out of it. <laughs> it's just, it's way above your weapon. So your weapon's not in your face. The back side is super open. The front side is just a little like front post. It's not really anything else. And even though I do find them a little bit ugly, I, I can't tell really what it is. Maybe it's just because I don't really like the TAR-21 too much because that's what this is uh, from. <laughs> they work fantastic. They are genuinely one of the best iron sights to use. If you're the type of guy who doesn't like red dots. They work very, very well, as you can see. Now, a lot of you guys are gonna probably disagree with me on this one, but I would say that the H and K site, just the MP7 iron sights, are some of the best iron sights in Phantom Forces. They're extremely low profile, and while they do kind of require your gun to be in your face, they're just a very clean little set of squares that kind of line up to put your target directly in the center. There's always a fun side for me and surprisingly a lot of people actually like putting these on snipers to make like super low profile sniper builds. It's kind of a weird thing to do, but hey, I like to do it. A lot of you guys like to do it. So H and K sites, pretty good. The backup site again, while having a very like freaking goofy front post, like a lot of them seem to, I feel like these are some of the most criminally underrated sites in Phantom Forces. They're a little bit higher up on your weapon. They have a very open profile. They just, they just look good. They're just basic. It gets the job done. It's a color that doesn't really blend in with a lot of the colors of the maps. I mean, they're just, they're thin and they work. Really, who can complain about that? That's pretty much the way that I see it. Now, a site that I, I have been seeing a little bit more recently than usual is going to have to be the double open site. The double open site is exactly what it sounds like. And while looking horrendously goofy, it is essentially the H and K site, but instead of two squares, it is two circles. I really like this idea because it allows you to really see in the middle of where you're putting your crosshair. They're just a very fantastic site choice. And much like the H and K sites, if you were the type to kind of use your sniper with iron sights, this is a great choice for that because it still gives you some good range potential not having like the middle of your screen completely covered up if someone's a little bit too far to uh, fit in your site, if that makes sense at all. Now, a lot of you guys are going to find this weird, but for me, 
my favorite iron sights to use are going to have to be the full ring sight and the half ring sight. I have these both at the bottom of the list here, or I guess the top because we're going bottom to top, but these are just amazing sights. They're super open, they're bright and colorful, so they don't quite blend in with like the colors of the maps. Now there is a little bit of a disparity in kills between these two, even though they're basically the same thing. The full ring sight requiring 50 kills and the half ring sight requiring 90 kills. Whenever really, like I said, they basically are the exact same thing. But at the end of the day, they are very nice, colorful, open iron sights not requiring too many kills to unlock or credits they look great they feel great they uh, i was gonna say sound great but they're you know not really uh audible <laughs> but yes in my opinion the best iron sights in the game are going to have to be a tie between the half ring and full ring sights so opinions out of the way what do you guys think about my list am i horribly wrong am i horribly right you decide below in the comments and let me know your hottest dumpster fire takes for what your favorite iron sights are like i said earlier in the video if there are any that i missed definitely let me know in the comment section below because because a lot of weapons have different iron sights that some weapons just don't. Same thing with the scopes and sights and all that kind of stuff. Also, if you did enjoy the video, consider leaving a like and subscribing as well with notifications on. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Huge thanks to the channel members up on screen. You can become one too with the join button on my channel or the link in the description or a pinned comment below. And if you want to see more ranking videos, I also have a playlist for that on screen as well. Thanks for watching, dudes. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.